Hello and welcome to Math 172 Precalculus Trigonometry. My name is Zach Matthews and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I'm going to see you all tomorrow, so it's not a great deal of time away, but I want to just introduce you to this course and the format of this course because uh, I like to use uh, what is called a semi-flipped classroom. A flipped classroom being in class, we're going to spend a lot more time practicing than simply just you watching me do problems on a board. So I want to talk about the format of the course a little bit, what I expect from you all, and just where you can go on the Moodle page to get certain items. So on the Moodle page, this is the first screen you'll see when you enter our course. You'll see just some general information. Please read through it, and you'll see my information. If you ever need to get a hold of me, feel free to call or email or just drop by my office. If I'm not in class, I'm generally hanging out in my office, although I'll have meetings pop up occasionally too. Uh, a lot of times email is a little bit better way to get a hold of me just because I do check my emails uh, periodically nights and weekends. I tend to check it one or two times after work and I tend to check it a couple times over the weekend too. So I think that tends to be a little bit better way to get a hold of me, but feel free to do either. On this first page of the middle page, you'll see the, the textbook. We're going to use the same textbook you used for Math 171. If you took that course recently and you purchased the extended uh, access period, so the uh, non-restricted 24 month period, you don't have to buy anything new for this course. If you only purchased the 16 week access period for the Math 171 textbook uh, for the My Math Lab, then you will need to re-up and you can do that by going to the bookstore and purchasing an access code or going directly to My Math Lab, which I'll show you in just a minute. Under that, you'll see the introduction videos of which you're watching one currently. The second one here, this is a My Math Lab orientation. You should be pretty familiar with it, but if you want to refresh, uh, I do allow you to work homework assignments over and over to get to 100%. So I strongly encourage you to do that. Um, but this video will walk you through My Math Lab a little bit more. Continue to scroll down on the first page, you'll see the simple syllabus. Um, I'll point out a few things in this a little bit later on. I'm not going to go through in a great deal of detail just because you all can read. Uh, under this is the orientation quiz. You all need to complete this by the end of the week. Um, and then we get to that My Math Lab link. So if you click on this, this will take you directly into our My Math Lab course. I call it My Math Lab. They change it to My Labs Math, but it's the same thing. Uh, so you do have to click on this link the very first time you access My Math Lab. You've got to click on this link and that will link it to our course. There is not a course ID for me to give to you. So if you follow the instructions given to you by the bookstore, it says go to pearsonmylabs.com and then enter a course ID, different instructions. So you've got to click on this link first and then it will prompt you either for a payment through a credit card, which is the cheapest, uh, or you'll either have access from before so you don't have to buy anything new. I'd recommend try it, click on it, see if you can get in for free. If you can't, then you'll have to re-up your, your subscription or you can buy it at the bookstore. Uh, underneath that, I have a, a lab's due date um, checklist just because the labs will be posted each week. I'll show you that a little bit later on. But just so you have all the dates in one place, the homework due dates will be in my math lab. The lab due dates are in this checklist. So let me point out a couple things in the syllabus. Uh, we are now using simple syllabus at ACC. So a lot of it's going to look pretty much the same. It's turned into the world's longest syllabus. Um, so again, all my information, I do want to emphasize my office hours. Monday through Thursday, 1232. For the most part, my mornings are pretty well taken over by classes, but afternoons, I'm pretty available uh, if you need help. So if it's during my office hours, I'll be on campus, I'll be in my office kind of guaranteed. If it's outside of those hours, I might have other, other meetings and things. Doesn't mean I'm definitely busy. Just check with me if you want to meet with me outside these office hours. I'm happy to meet with you. Uh, the best way to get good at math is through you practicing, but you can't just practice blindly. So if you're getting stuck on problems or you're not quite sure what to do, come to my office hours and we can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. Also, I'll go ahead and mention, in addition to office hours, you can get math help through the Math Center and through the Tutor Center. Um, two different resources, both great. The Math Center is great for kind of walk-in help if you don't want to make an appointment. If you don't need necessarily one-on-one -on -one help, but you have a question here and there, it's a perfect place to do it. Uh, or if you just want a room to go to work on math, the math center is a great place. I will give you those hours the first day of class because they change a little bit up to them. The tutor center has a lot more availability, but they don't always have a dedicated math tutor in there. So it's a good idea to schedule an appointment with them, but that's where you can do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So use all three resources. Uh, one is not better than the other. All three are great. Me, the tutor center, math center. Uh, check my email regularly most of the time. Like I said, 
department head information there, of course, information. So please read through all of that on your own. Prereqs, you should all be set there, Math 171. These are the textbooks. Again, um, if you already purchased it, purchased it through 171 uh, for extended period, you should be set. Otherwise, just get the 18-week access. You don't need the 24-month again because this will be the last math class with this book. You need a graphing calculator. I wanted to point out the academic evaluation. 10% is for homework quizzes. I don't tend to give a lot of quizzes. I do if you all aren't doing what you're supposed to. So if you're doing what you're supposed to, you won't see a lot of them. Labs are 10%. Uh, let me get back to the homework for just a second. Remember, homework 10%. That is a free 100 because homework problems you can redo over and over and over again. I say this every semester, and I can't tell you the number of times I see a student miss an A by one or two points, and I look at the homework grade, and it's a 80. That would have been the A, or miss a B, or miss a C. Get those homeworks to 100%. That way, you know what you're doing, and you're also going to be um, have a higher grade. Tests are 55% of your grade, and then final exam is 25%, typical 10-point grading scale. Again, I'm going to let you read through all this on your own, but I'm going to just emphasize I don't collect late work you get a grade of zero. So if you know something is coming up that next week you're going to be out of town all week and you just cannot get to your homework, talk to me ahead of time. We'll figure out a plan to get you ahead so you're not going to fall behind. Uh, or if something major comes up, of course, talk to me. I realize that we can't always plan for everything in life. But if it's, you know, work called me in late last minute, uh, just forgot about it, I ran out of time, it is your responsibility to schedule your work in a way that allows you to complete your homework and what other assignments you have. So again, major things, talk to me, please. You know, I, I want to communicate throughout this course. That's going to be a big message of mine first day of class too, is I want you all to stay in communication with me. But in general, I don't take a lot of late work. Tests, again, if you're not in, in, in class today of a test, it's a zero. Um, if you know you're not going to be in class, talk to me ahead of time. Final exam, because of the way this semester was scheduled, uh, the final exam will take place over the last two days of class. We're not going to have an actual final exam, period. Talk about that more later on. Attendance, obviously, you need to be in class, uh, taking notes, paying attention. Um, if you're not going to be in class, it is your responsibility to get all work in on time and also to get any missed notes. Um, be respectful, respectful of one another. And everything else in the syllabus is pretty generic. There is a course schedule at the bottom that shows our test due date. So I'll point that out too. Let me jump back over to Moodle uh, so I can talk about these weeks a little bit more. So what am I going to expect of you every single week? So this first week, uh, one thing you need to read over the syllabus and do the orientation quiz. So those are two things you have to do this first week that are a little out of the ordinary. But generally each week your course is going to look like this. It's going to tell you what sections we're going to work on that week. We could work on one to two sections. Under that, you're going to see lecture videos. I expect you to watch each of the lecture videos for the section we're going to be covering. So for instance, Tuesday, 4.1, watch these four videos before class. Thursday, you're going to watch these three videos before class. Then during class, I'm going to spend about half an hour hitting the main points, doing a couple more examples, letting you all ask questions. So if you have questions on these videos, please bring those into class. We're going to talk about it as a group for about half an hour. But then the second uh, half of class, or the next 45 minutes, have these in-class worksheets. And so in class, we're going to pull these up, and you're going to work on them. They're anywhere from 5 to 10 questions. And then uh, the next class period, I'm going to make sure that you've completed them. So hopefully the goal is in class you'll come close to completing these worksheets. And then uh, the next class period, I will post the solutions so you can go through and see if you got the right answer. And also, how did I do the work? Because that's really important. In this class, I really want to see your work, and I want to see that we're setting things up in an organized manner. So by seeing my solutions, you can see what I expect for tests and for labs and for other assignments. Now, uh, I do expect you to finish these before the next class period. So again, we're going to be working on 4.1 on Tuesday. It will be kind of it will be due on Thursday. I'm not going to necessarily check it for accuracy. These are meant to learn from but I'm going to be checking it to make sure you've completed it. I want to see that you are trying it on your own and then you can check your work and see where you may have gone a little bit wrong. So that is how we're going to structure this course. Uh, I tried this last semester, my 171. It was actually very popular and it worked very, very well because students were able to ask questions in class. During class, I'm going to be walking around the classroom answering whatever questions you all have. 
And so by getting that in-class practice, uh, we can figure out your exact problems or what you're having trouble with rather than just me talking for an hour about things that you may already understand. Uh, so please watch the videos before class. If you don't do that, you're going to be completely lost the day of class. And then during class, we'll answer questions and uh, do those worksheets underneath. Just to point out, some weeks you will see labs. So for instance, second week of class, you'll see that lab one is assigned on that Tuesday. And then you'll see that underneath and the due date is posted there. Labs will always be due at the start of class. Homework assignments will be due on my math lab the day that's posted. So again, look at that my math lab tutorial to see that if you have any questions on that. Uh, if you have any questions on that, please let me know. Uh, you will only see the first month at a time. You're, you're uh, only going to be able to view the first uh, unit. And then after we complete the unit one test, I'll open up the second unit. And so you'll be able to see all the unit. If you want to work ahead, uh, feel free to. You can do that both on Moodle and my math lab. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Otherwise, I will see you all in class uh, tomorrow. Have a great one.